Hey guys, welcome back to 2023, where currently, as of the past few days, people have been shitting bricks about the new iPhone 15's durability test. Uh, apparently people are upset because the glass part in the back is not living up to everyone's desired phone standards, but uh, we're not really here to talk about its durability today. I really wanted to come here and ask, what the hell are you guys doing with your phones? I mean, really though, think about it. We have uh, lava versus phone test, car versus phone test, hydraulic press versus phones. Uh, we have crushers versus phone test, I mean cars. Is any of this really necessary? I, I'm sure some of these tests are helpful, such as the uh, bin test and the scratch test. I mean, even the drop test within, you know, a certain footed range is uh, is logical. But I mean, are you guys going to be really swimming in a pit of lava anytime soon? Are some of these even really necessary as durability tests? I get for science, but half of these are like actual durability tests. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've owned multiple Androids and iPhones for the years, but uh, I've never actually broken them. Uh, that's because I know better than to carry them around naked. I drop my phone at least once a day. God, I drop them all the time. And, uh, I've dropped them on concrete, wood, pavement, and a bathtub, etc, etc. And I've never broken them because I buy this magical thing called a phone case. And, uh, when I say a phone case, I mean a protective case, not one of those flimsy jelly cases that all the little middle school girls like to use. Don't get why everyone's obsessed with something that's really not gonna do anything for your phone besides make it look cute. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking at this point, uh, Renegade, uh, I shouldn't have to buy a case for something that's so expensive. Uh, I work hard jobs that demand this extreme durability. And I get that, but don't you think some of these durability examples are a little too extreme for your everyday phone use? I swear someone could post a video titled dropping a boulder on the new iPhone or Android and label it as a durability test and someone would still comment on it. Oh, I'm so glad you posted this. Now I know that this phone's not for me. XOXO, lots of love, thank you. Uh, I mean, come on guys. It's a phone which is metal and glass. It's not an unbreakable diamond, it's a phone. Some of these tests are the equivalent to hitting a skyscraper with a wrecking ball. Obviously these phones are gonna get some damage when you put it through these extreme cases. You're not the Incredible Hulk. They're not meant to be crushed by rocks or cars. They're not meant to be handling lava, it's a phone. I mean, are you guys really surprised that this day and age something would be more expensive while being lower quality than its previous predecessors? I mean, come on. Even the Walmart brand stuff is more expensive than some of the other brands nowadays. I mean, really, whether it's Apple or Android, each phone's gonna have its own issues and its own helpfulness. I do want to say, though, if you guys absolutely need a phone that could survive all of these durability tests, I would like to showcase the perfect phone for you and your heavy-duty needs, and that would be introducing the Nokia 3310. This phone not only is durable against physical abuse, but it can probably be used to attack others if I had to put it in words. This thing's like walking around with a hammer in your back pocket. The thing's so powerful that you may actually choose to uh, carry this around instead of a Glock. Definitely, uh, I wouldn't really be robbing you if you had one of these. I'd be too scared you'd beat me up with it and give me a concussion, you know? Uh, this might, this might work for you better if you think your phone's gonna have to survive, you know, 100 foot drops and lava and all this stuff, but, uh, yeah, if it came down to it, maybe try this phone instead. I just, uh, I think it will fit your needs a little bit better than the iPhone 15. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to, uh, to, to make this video just showcasing, uh, some of my thoughts. It's not really, like, a big deal or anything like that. I didn't make this video to make anyone mad. But, uh, I mean, is it really that big of an issue? Listen, there's durability tests for every single phone that comes out nowadays, and that's fine. You know, every single phone's gonna have its own individual issues, whether it's the glass breaking on the back of the phone, or if it's getting too bent in the center and the screen's going out. You know, it, it just varies. I just thought the whole situation is kind of funny just because there's, uh, you know, there's more things we could talk about, you know, such as how you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Uh, my name's Renegade. I make a bunch of different gaming content, mainly funny gaming content, but I am a channel that has a little bit of everything. If you do like variety channels and you do want to see some different things, please do like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.